Welcome to another episode of DIY Devices with Brett. And my wife Meg is here to help as well. Today, we're gonna clarify, we are gonna demystify, we are hopefully gonna answer all of your questions about the magical technology known as Bluetooth. So, what is Bluetooth? In this case, it has nothing to do with your teeth. It's actually a very simple technology that allows one device, a tablet, a phone, to communicate wirelessly with another device. Here's just a few examples of Bluetooth enabled devices, speakers, headphones, sunglasses, even light bulbs. They can be controlled by any phone, tablet, or computer as long as it has Bluetooth capability. So how does it work? Well, let's start with one of the most common combinations, a speaker and a tablet. In this case, it's a Soundlink Color 2 from Bose and an iPad. Bluetooth is nothing more than a wireless handshake, a digital kiss between the two devices. Start by opening the settings on your tablet, then enable Bluetooth. Now it's time to turn on your speaker. Battery five. And most importantly, press the Bluetooth button to begin the pairing process. Ready to connect. And that fast, the Bose speaker appears on your iPad. Connected to Brett's iPad Pro 2. We're connected, and it's time to play some music. It's that easy. And keep in mind, many devices, Bose in particular, will remember the tablet, the phone, the computer that they originally connected to, meaning you won't have to pair them each time. All you have to do is turn the device on again, like this. Battery high. Connected to Brett's iPad Pro 2. And we're ready for more music. Bluetooth isn't just for audio, you can use it for productivity as well. Maybe a wireless keyboard for your tablet or a wireless mouse for your computer, whether it's PC or Mac. Let's start with a wireless keyboard. This time, we're gonna connect to an Amazon Fire tablet. Same way as before, make sure Bluetooth is on. Then, on your keyboard, turn on the power button and make it discoverable by hitting the Bluetooth button. Then, you're ready to go. And now you've connected your tablet to your keyboard wirelessly through Bluetooth, which means you can type away whether you connect your tablet directly to the keyboard or rest it on a little stand or easel. And yes, I do. From a wireless keyboard that you can use with a tablet to a wireless mouse that now connects to your computer. Check this out. To connect a wireless mouse to a Windows 10 computer, go to the lower left-hand corner and open up your settings. Once you get inside settings, you'll see an option for devices. Inside devices, turn on Bluetooth, then click to add a Bluetooth device. In this case, we're gonna open up and add a mouse. And when I say open up, I mean that in a literal sense. This enables the Bluetooth mouse, or what they call the Arc mouse, to be discoverable. Double click onto it and wait for it to connect. Look, your device is ready to go. Even your Amazon Echo is a Bluetooth-enabled device, and some of you are going, well, how would that work? What would I use it for? Think about it. Maybe you've got an audio book in here. Maybe you've got a playlist in here, your tablet, your phone, your computer, and you'll want to listen to it through here. Here's how you do it. To connect an Echo device to a tablet or a smartphone, make sure you download the free Alexa app. Open up the app and go to the lower right-hand corner where it says Devices. Click onto Devices, and go to the upper left-hand corner where it reads Echo and Alexa. Open up this category and select the Echo device that you want to pair to your tablet or your smartphone. In this case, I want to connect to the one that I call Echo House Main. Then go to Bluetooth devices and hit pair a new device. Now you're going to go back to the settings in your tablet and go to the Bluetooth section there where your Echo is now discoverable. Click on to Echo, and your tablet or phone and your Echo will connect. Now connected to Brett's iPad Pro 2. My tablet is now connected to my Echo. Now that you're connected, you can listen to anything you want with your Amazon Echo. And when it comes to music, nobody does it better than Bose. Of course, you can connect wirelessly with headphones. Even your sunglasses if they're Bose frames, will let you listen to your music through Bluetooth. There's one last Bluetooth device that I wanna show you before we call it a day, and that is the Bluetooth-enabled Philips Hue light bulb. Now you can control your lights with your phone or your tablet. 
Now for this particular Bluetooth device, you need an app. It's a free app called Philips Bluetooth, and you can download it from either the Apple or the Android store. Now, before you open the app, of course, make sure that you've enabled or turned on Bluetooth on your phone or your tablet. Then inside the app, it will remind you to make sure that your Bluetooth light bulbs are installed and that they're powered up. Then it's time to get connected. What you're gonna do is put the light bulb in your lamp and then what they call power cycle. Turn the light on, turn the light off, turn the light back on. This will make the light bulb discoverable, meaning that your phone or tablet can talk to the light bulb and the pairing process begins. And that quick, now your tablet or your phone can control the lights in your home. And it's not limited to just on and off. Check this out. We can adjust the color, the brightness, the warmness, the temperature, the mood of your room. And of course, now you can turn your lights off. Brett, give me that. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Hopefully we've answered your questions about Bluetooth. The technology itself, fairly simple. The results, pretty incredible. Two devices wirelessly communicating together. Whether it's your tablet and your speaker, it's your computer and your headphones, it's the lights in your house. It's a lot easier than you think. If you guys have suggestions or questions for future shows, if there's something about technology that I might have the answer to, please feel free to reach out. My Facebook page is Brett Hamilton QVC, just one T in Brett, and hopefully I can answer those questions for you. It, not yet, Meg. In the meantime, we'll see you next time on DIY Devices with Brett. And Meg. And Meg. Turn out the lights.